Well, hello, hello, and welcome to the Mediocre Arknights Operator Guide featuring Platinum, the 78th element of the periodic table. Oh, here we go. Now, you may be asking why I chose to do Platinum for today's video. A little Sharky trivia for you. Platinum was the first 5-star operator I ever got, excluding Savage and Amiya, so she holds a bit of a special place in my heart in that regard. Many story aside, what is Platinum? A generally rare and valued metal. She also happens to be a marksman. Like Exia, Greyfloat, Jessicat, and many others, they are known for striking air targets such as drones before anything else. Platinum's talent, Charge Attack, increases the damage of the next attack based on how long it's been since the last attack, up to a predetermined maximum percent multiplier. This means she can squeeze out some extra damage when she is not attacking, where there may not be enemies around. This also applies when your attack speed is slowed by something like Chapter 6's Frost mechanic, so you don't lose out on as much damage. Platinum's first skill, Attack Strengthening Type Y, or however you're supposed to say it, increases her attack by up to 100% for 30 seconds. Yeah, that's it. Operators on launch generally do not have the most interesting first skill, and have little to no reason to be used over her second skill, unless you're messing around or doing a challenge run. Speaking of which, Star Platinum's second skill, Pegasus Sight, decreases Platinum's attack speed, but in return increases her attack by up to double the amount. In addition, this skill expands her attack range and lasts permanently when activated. This skill is inbuilt synergy with her talent. In isolation, the lowered attack speed seems like a bad thing, but when paired with her talent, Platinum will gain a small boost to damage after every attack to compensate. Leave her out for long enough, and she becomes Platinum Oxide. Now, this part of the video is where I usually give some basic ideas on what to do with Platinum, but if I did, it would be something along the lines of Use her like a normal sniper! Instead, I thought I'd give a nice story of my experience with her. So back in the early days of the global server, my account had a relatively shaky start in terms of my early 5 and 6 stars, compared to what I could have gotten. Generally, my higher rarity units were substantially better when there was enough investment, and only when they had enough investment. Look at you, Angelina. Despite Platinum kind of falling into that category, I grew an appreciation for her as she and Jessica were my main snipers for the longest time. While everyone flexed their Exias and Blue Poisons, I'm just sitting in my corner like, I have Platinum? I like our kit? She's currently worth more than any Golden Operator I have? Though I think that starting out with generally late game operators made me into a better Arknax player, because I didn't have operators like Silver Ash or Aya to carry me, as it really got me to learn the mechanics of the game and work with what I had. Hope you liked the story, but we have one more question in the video. Should you build Platinum? Build her if you like, consistent damage output, high single target damage with skill 2, useful extended attack range. Do not build her if you don't like, a relatively basic operator, little to no burst damage, and having to face against multiple targets at once with just her. Finally, here are Platinum stats, potentials, trust bonuses, base skills, and my E263M3 Platinum who's worth more than its weight in gold. Though the price of such depends on how many kids you want with her, should that life happen. And that is the Platinum Operator Guide. Thank you very much for watching, as well as bearing with my terrible Platinum jokes, and I hope to see y'all next time.